Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you one easy to create theme that you can use to create a promotional or poster style image for an event. So the first thing you want to have open is a photo that relates to your event in some type of way. So here's one example and the next step you want to take is to crop it or open a new canvas in the file size that you need. So if I was only going to be sharing this on Instagram then I could crop it into like a thousand by thousand pixel square or if you needed it to be some other size, you could use the crop tool or open up a new canvas in whatever size that you need and then drag the photo layer onto that canvas. So I'm just going to leave it at this for this example. And the next step you want to do is turn this full color image into a nice solid colored backdrop for us to overlay text and information onto. So what we can do is use the gradient map tool. So if we go to layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map, we can create a nice solid two-tone color image for us to lay text over and have it pop. So let's double click on our editor, whatever it is, and we're gonna pick the highlight color here, so white, and we're gonna turn it into, let's say, a light red. So I'll pick that color there, and for the background color, I'm gonna turn it into a really dark red. So once you're happy with your gradient, Go ahead and press OK, and you'll see that now we have a nice solid two-tone colored backdrop, and when we lay white text and logos and images over it, they're going to really pop and stand out and be readable. Now for our text placement, we're going to create some interesting square aligned text. So if we grab our text tool, instead of just clicking and creating a new line, we want to actually drag out a square. So hold Shift to keep it into a square proportion and drag out a square of the size that you'd like. Now you have a text box, so we can make sure to align everything within this box. So once you have your text box created, you want to open up the character and paragraph panel, and in the paragraph section, you can see all these different text alignment settings. And in this, you'll see this last one here, which is to spread it out over the whole text box, so justifying everything. So when we have justify all turned on, you'll see what it looks like. So let's type out our first name there, and you'll see that it spreads across the entire text box. So let's say we have like a headlining person or artist. We'll have their name be first, and we can highlight it and make the font size really large. So they're the headliner. Next, we'll have like the two other big names. So let's use a bit of a smaller text size, and we'll do name and name. So I'll lower the text until it keeps the two on the same line. So now we have name and name. And then you can start getting to smaller text and fit in a lot more per line. So let's do three, and you could pick interesting placements like three, four, and alternate between three and four. You really want to take your time and make things look visually balanced and nice. So a few things to keep in mind are adjusting the size of different lines, fitting in different names like three per line and then four and three and creating a pattern of some sort and maybe playing around with fonts and dashes and things like that. So once you have all your names written out or the information written out and justified nicely in a white text that stands out from your two-tone background, you can add some decorative details like lines or logos of whatever sponsors there are at the event or things like that. So for example, I'll add a border around this text to create some interesting detail. So I'll grab my shape tool and I'll grab my rectangle tool and I'll hold shift and create a square that's about the size of the text box. And then I just want to make the fill color to be transparent and the stroke color to be white. And then I can just set the weight of the stroke to be whatever size I want. So let's just do a 10 pixel stroke. And then I can transform it to make it big enough so that it doesn't interfere with the text. And you can also do things like make a dotted line or things like that. So I'll keep it a solid stroke, but that adds a little bit of a border and visual interest around the image. And then you can decorate it with whatever logos or information you have to place. But that's just one quick theme that you can do. So hopefully you guys learned a few techniques from this video, even if you don't go to create an image like this. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to check out more Photoshop tutorials, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for more. 
and let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.